What's going on you guys, Enzo here today coming to you with another video and today I want to go ahead and talk about what could make the Anaconda at King's Dominion better. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so let's go ahead and just start off with Anaconda the ride itself. Um, so Anaconda is actually a coaster at King's Dominion and it was the first coaster to actually feature an underwater tunnel when it first opened uh, but through the years of course coasters do deteriorate if you don't maintain it and uh, Anaconda they are maintaining it but one of the main problems I think you could definitely say is going to be the over-the-shoulder restraints as well as just the train itself and the wheels on it uh, they do replace the wheels every so often for this ride but it still doesn't change the fact that this is one of the roughest coasters I've definitely ever ridden on. Uh, definitely at King's Dominion, this is probably near one of the worst ones. The coaster itself isn't a bad coaster, but towards the end of the ride, there's definitely certain parts that it's just really catastrophic on the body. I only sit in the back now on this ride, hence why I didn't film this ride front row. That was basically one of the main reasons. Uh, sitting in the front on this ride just hurts my body way too much and it's just I personally think it's almost too many G's in the front it's just too much the coaster like I was saying it's not bad I love the double corkscrews it feels awesome uh, you get some serious hang time from that and I really enjoy that but what can make this better get some better trains get uh, I don't really like the over the shoulder restraints like I was saying mainly because it kind of just locks you in from actually putting your hands up on the ride and I, I understand that it helps you to secure you correctly but on the other hand there are so many other types of restraints that they could have been that they could have used for this ride and they still haven't changed it at all now remember this is by aerodynamics and of course they are or they're no longer a company but they still made amazing rides uh, I think they were basically the first ones to enter that big industry for coasters and they've definitely made a change and difference for how we even look at coasters today. But that being said, them being bankrupt, uh, the maintenance and trying to replace the parts is now harder. So I definitely think overall it just needs new wheels, uh, better restraints, definitely, and probably a better chain lift. Uh, the sound of the chain lift for Anaconda is just ridiculous. So uh, here's a bit, here's a little clip from uh, the sound of Anaconda's chain lift. As you can see, uh, this is definitely one of the loudest chain lifts I've heard. It's not the best one. It doesn't sound great at all. It personally sounds like the ride is broken. And when you look at Intimidator, it's just flying up on the cable lift. Intimidator 305 actually reaches its highest point before Anaconda can even get to its highest point. So that just tells you how fast the cable lift between those two lifts. It's definitely a big difference. Like I was saying, overall, Anaconda is a decent ride. It's definitely not a great ride. And there is so many things they could do to make this better, as I was saying. Overall, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of which you guys think it could make could make this ride better. Let me know also what video you want me to do next for this series, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Hope you all did enjoy once again, and until next time, you guys, peace out.